Go. And greetings, uh, all blessed families and people who love self-sufficiency. They said you don't have to be sufficient on everything, but at least you have to be sufficient in something. In our case, eggs. Okay. But before you can have eggs, you need to have a way to incubate them, right? Right. So in this video, I'm trying to share my the idea that I've learned, I've watched, and tried to do it back home too. Alright? Okay? So in this case, I'm gonna make a I made a refrigerator incubator, which means I pick up an old refrigerator out in the street, you know, recycled, reuse, repurpose as much as possible. Okay? It doesn't have to be a, a magic chip. Hey, 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 come on, oh, let go. All right. Okay, it doesn't have to be a magic chip. It's a small derm refrigerator. And what I did, I take out all this part. Just, see, you can cut all this using this tool. It's a very simple rotary tool, you know, and then take out all this piece and reuse some of the stuff on the inside sorry I did not clean this one for the last three years okay right so anyway these are all parts of the inside actually you probably don't need this uh, glass most likely you don't need this this one as well you don't need it Okay, this piece, you can pick it out, okay, you don't need it, alright, okay, so, so here you are, you have a, a workplace for your incubator, hatching your quail eggs, chicken eggs, duck eggs, goose eggs, not my egg, but, you know, anyway, this is how you can do it, first thing first, you need to drill a hole, you need a hole at least one inch, one inch hole for your chicks to breathe in a, in a tool, use this to drill a hole out there, okay? Okay, I remember, you need this one. All right, next, you use this, where is the receipt? You put it back to its place. I don't know why it's too tight. And then you need some few things to buy online. One of them is this one. It's called an egg turner. Okay? It has a small motor on this in here. And as you know, the eggs need to be turned at least four times in a day, in 24 hours actually. So, but this one, you don't have to do it. The, the, the motor can, can do the job for you, okay? okay. So, uh, in, my, in my case, it's a little bit bigger than my refrigerator, so I put it in the angle like that. So, you plug this one in. Remember you have a hole? You use this hole for this one. You plug it in there, all the way to the outside. Next. You need another tool or another unit to buy online and this is called temperature controller okay its job the job of it is to maintain the temperature however you set it up in edge it's mostly 99.5 i don't know 37 something 37 something celsius okay right so this is about $30 online, $35, $35 online, but it has a sensor and it's a plug and play thing, okay? So, uh, you can choose to put lights on your, um, on your incubator or not, it's up to you. You can choose to put a door, a glass door, if you want it, okay? So, that's really up to you. But most important is there's a vent hole on the back 
at least one end for your for your cheeks to breathe as they hatch. Another thing that you need is a form of heater. Okay, you can use you can use a a, a lamp connected to your temperature controller, just like a, a thirty five watts or thirty five to fifty watts lamp, incandescent lamp to produce heat. Okay, that's the easiest thing to do. In my case, I use this. This is a um, slow cooker, a very tiny slow cooker used for trackers. And also, uh, also you can you can buy about this two dollars in the thrift store. That's why I use it. That because that's what I have. Okay. So by doing so, as you set up over here, whether you use that as a source of heat, the the small um, cooker or uh, the lamp is the same function is to produce heat okay so in that way you can create pretty much an incubator for roughly about seventy dollars or eighty dollars okay and it will last for a long time i'm quite sure of it back home we eat balut we made balut and balut is expensive i don't know if you know what balut is balut is a <sighs> Check online what is balut, okay? You might feel it looks yucky, but it's a delicacy back home in my country. I don't like it so much, but I do eat it. It's from duck egg with a little baby chicks on the inside. <laughs> anyway, it's yummy. Anyway, let me know what's your idea, and this is how it is now. The public Okay, uh, this is how it is now, okay, with the glass door which I made it, you know. And this is uh, after, you know, this is now my product. Okay, this is a quail eggs. And I have a baby chick right here trying to survive, okay? okay uh, right? So, that's a temperature controller that's saying, hey, you open it up and I need more heat or humidity, okay? Plus water on the bottom. You will learn more online. By uh, when you do incubation, that you need humidity, water in the bottom. Very simple. Put put water, and you, and all your chicks will be fine. Okay. And to show you that it works, and it it hatch, I'll show you the quail chicks. Oh. Here is my quail chicks. See those quail chicks? They got hats about today. And yeah, uh, you know, it's a, that, that uh, incubator, I made it last year, but this is the first time I tried to use it. And as you can see, so far I have 20, 20. 21 chicks. And I bought these quail eggs from eBay so there's not really guarantee in the cold weather to have a good egg but as you can see I got them hatch and they're jumping and trying to look for the mama in this case the papa. all right thank you very much okay please be well be safe bless families try to do well take care of your families take care of children they are God's children. We are just babysitters. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.